Welcome to www.westsideautopros.com. Today's topic, how to change spark plugs. You will find that spark plugs are very important when it comes to keeping your car running. They need to be not only changed periodically, but taken care of and kept clean. Make sure that you know when they need to be replaced and what you need to do in order to replace them so that you can keep your car running as smoothly as possible for as long as possible. Changing your spark plugs is something that's very easy to do and can end up being extremely beneficial to the running of your vehicle. Spark Plug Location The first thing that you are going to need to do is know where exactly the spark plugs are. You will need to open up the hood of your vehicle and then pull on the release catch that will be on the inside of your vehicle. This will allow you to open it. Once you have successfully opened the hood of your vehicle, you are ready to find the spark plugs. If you have an engine that is a four-cylinder, then they will be on top of your engine block where the cylinders will be upright along a line. If working on a V engine, then they're going to be in two different rows sitting at an angle. HT leads will cover the spark plugs so they cannot be easily seen. Your manufacturer's handbook will be able to provide you with the exact location if you can't easily locate them. HT leads it is important that you understand what order that your HT leads are in. They are made so that they can fire on your cylinders in a very specific order so that your vehicle can run properly. Whenever you're getting your leads replaced, you will need to make sure that they go along with the right spark plug. You will need to make sure that you always start with the lead that is on the right side first. Once the HT lead has been pulled off, then remove your spark plug where it will be exposed. A socket as well as a wrench will be necessary for removal. Inspection Once you have removed the spark plug, inspect it thoroughly. Clean the dirt off of it and make sure that the gap that is at the base of it is the right size. The size that the gap should be will have a lot to do with the make and model of your vehicle. Make sure that you know the right size of it before determining if it needs to be replaced. A gapping tool or a feeler gauge will be able to set the necessary gap for you. Thread Whenever you are screwing the spark plug back into place, make sure that it's threaded properly. This is something that can be very difficult and expensive to have repaired if it's not threaded the way it should be. Over-tightening can also be something that can damage your thread. To find out more information on topics like this, go to www.westsideautopros.com.